are your reflections on China's penetration of the global market? So one simple reason for China's penetration of the global market is that China is able to turn out the products, reasonably good products, don't question the durability, eh? reasonably good products and able to sell it at incredibly low price. That's why they are able to penetrate the entire global market. If I happen to travel in any African country and stop the car at the traffic signal, immediately I will be surrounded by at least, at least 20 street vendors carrying 60 Chinese products. Each one, they try to sell it for $1. And it's so tempting, you cannot resist your temptation to buy. Iron box, the pressing equipment, $1. Nice umbrella, $1 another acute light is they are able to penetrate the entire market that means developed countries and developing countries why china is able to do number one if you use all the parameters of um, uh, economic transformation china is really at the top of the list economic transformation takes place when the share of manufacturing in gdp and employment increases and China, if you look at all these parameters, is almost above the world average. And then you ask a simple question, what drives world trade and why some countries are doing better than others? World trade is today driven by medium, high tech and sophisticated products, which account for nearly 80% of the global value added and 80% of exports and manufacturers. So this is the global reality. The question is, you want to be part of the global reality or out of context? China is part of the global rea reality. So these highly sophisticated medium and high tech products in, exported by China uh, today account for over 80% of manufacturing value added and over 80% of manufactured exports. That's why China is able to penetrate. Then their strategy is amazing. China today is capable of absorbing whatever is available in the world. Whatever is available in the world. You can see that. And they don't look at normally the ranking of countries on ease of doing business. Every year we see, we get this ease of doing business and we see the ranking of countries. And if there's a country which has the the last rank, say Togo or Congo, because of conflict and all these things, out of 189 countries, Togo must have uh, just scored 199th rank. They don't care about it. If there's a huge market potential there, and they would say this is the best time to go and do it, even during periods of conflict, and the rate of return on Chinese investment in any country is over 40%. They do it very successfully, methodically. And they pave, you know, the, the highways in most of the uh, most uh, developing countries, particularly in Africa. It is only 20% of otherwise what a European contractor would have done. Incredibly cheap and of world standard. That is why China is able to penetrate uh, the entire globe. And I think China will capture China. It's very difficult to uh, compete against China. It's very difficult because they follow a very good strategy and make very nice, a very good, very effective interventions to survive even in in, in, in difficult um, countries, even con in conflict-affected countries. Look at the presence of China in the Chinese firms in conflict-affected countries. Most of the oil companies are owned by them. Most of the and the production units are run by them, and the international reputation about the country, maybe upon landing would get killed, but Chinese successfully thrive there and um, success, do very good business. That's why they are able to penetrate the entire global market. The world cannot afford to ignore China.